welcome back to my channel so i have not done this in a while because i don't really have a lot of excuses i really missed filming and i'm sorry that this is another sit down type of video because i know my last one was also a q a sit down chatty type of video but i really have had nothing to vlog but next week or this upcoming week i will be going somewhere very exciting and i'll be going on a great very vlog worthy trip so new vlogs will be coming in the next few videos so today i am doing a reacting to your assumptions about me i know this is like a big youtube trend that was kind of in a few months ago and i'm very late but I thought it would be interesting so I asked you guys on my insta story okay, the first one I see is you hate being around people um this is kind of true I really don't like large crowds or places which are really crowded especially if it's filled with strangers who I don't know I hate being alone in situations like that but if I'm with friends or if I'm close to the people and there just happens to be a lot of them there then I'm really fine with it but I just get really scared someone said not an assumption but I love you I love you too it's super hin hin I also think I'm really my hin hin when I first meet someone like if I haven't gotten to know you yet I'm just really shy really introverted really scared because I don't know how to talk to people who are new I'm not good at icebreakers I'm not good at starting conversations I'm not good at all of that because of that reason I'm really my hin hin at first and then when you get to know me I'm super loud I'm super extroverted I'm like insane purely English speaking this is kind of true um, in my school I'm mostly English speaking just because all literally mm, all of my classmates are my teachers are English speaking unless I'm with like my two friends like Martha or Conroy who are the only other friends I have in school who I speak speak in Tagalog too because they actually understand and get my Tagalog references when no one else does but apart from that I am purely English speaking there are circumstances when I do speak in Tagalog like when someone talks to me in Tagalog I'll respond in Tagalog sometimes my mom will get mad at me in Tagalog so honor student not true not at all I am a very average student maybe like a bit higher than average at the most like above average student but i am not an honor student i'm not top of class i'm just going to be completely honest i'm not the top of the class i am not getting like a pluses for every single test yeah i definitely like to get there one day and i hope with more hard work or effort i can but as of right now that is not the case Someone said IG baddie. Okay, that is not true. I am actually horrible at Instagram if I do say so myself. But as time goes on, I'm getting better at it. I'm trying to stop deleting my photos as much, trying to think less about everything. Before, if you know me, if you followed me like a year or so ago, I'd always delete all of my pictures. I hated having any pictures of myself up. I'd post something and then I'd get insecure about it and delete it like not very baddie like. Someone said extrovert. Technically, yeah, like based on my personality test results, I am an extrovert. You get what you want. That is not true at all. At all. Um, all of my phones that I received are hand-me-downs. If I want to order my own food, like my own snacks or make a deliver or have something outside from the house which isn't cooked at home, I have to pay for it myself out of my money which I've earned. I only ever get clothes or shoes as like gifts on Christmas or my birthday. That is it. Like we're not the type to just go to the mall together and she'll let me pick out whatever and I'll just buy the whole store. I have to buy clothes myself if it's not a special occasion or a special date, which has really trained me to not be spoiled. It has taught me how to budget my money, how to decide what's more important to buy, whether things when you buy are really worth it or not. So yeah, definitely I do not always get what, I'm, what I want. My mom has raised us in a way where we have learned to fend for ourselves and obviously she, she 
provides like the essentials and a bit more and i'm super grateful for that so i'm not saying that i don't receive things or gifts because obviously i do and i'm really grateful for that even though i didn't like it as much before it's really taught me to learn how to spend my own money and how to be responsible with it someone said humble i hope so i mean i don't know i guess that's for someone else to judge and not me because it's kind of narcissistic to just be like i'm so humble someone said you want to be an actress like your mom i do love acting and i do love doing it and being a part of it and it's definitely an option for one of the things which i want to do in the future i don't know i'm still pretty young so i have a lot of time figuring it out so i'm not too harsh on myself to decide at the moment said doesn't know how to speak the dialogue i guess this links in with the other question which is 100 percent english speaking so alam ko po paano mag tagalog minsan nahihiya lang po ako kasi yung accent ko very <laughs> very obvious wala kasi akong tagalog class sa school natutulong po ako sa teleseries like got to believe darna ganyan doon po ako natuto so wala talaga akong masyadong knowledge sa verbs, sa vocab, ganyan. So, I do know how to speak Tagalog. Thank you. Fun fact, my Tagalog gets 100 times better when I'm abroad because there are situations where I have to talk and not have anyone else understand. You speak several languages. I speak Tagalog and English, I'd say pretty fluently. And I'm learning Spanish. So, not the best at it, but I'm learning it. Hindi marunong magsaing. Okay, that's true. I feel like you're very independent. That's true. I'm pretty independent. I don't really rely on other people for anything anymore. That sounds kind of bitter. I'm not bitter. I'm just saying. I'm independent. Someone says Shoshal and picky. Okay, I'm definitely picky. 1000%. I am the pickiest person ever, especially when it comes to food. I am such a picky eater and I hate it. Then everyone around me hates it. Like, oh my god, I am so picky when I eat. I'm getting better at it though. Like recently, I've started liking certain types of sushi, which is definitely an improvement. I wouldn't say I'm like too Shoshal. Just cause my school, when we were like grade four, grade five, every year they force us to like hike in the jungle and like sleep in the jungle for like three nights. So I'm pretty sure me and my classmates have had to adapt to that. So we're not that shishal anymore because of what we have experienced. Thanks my school for all of that. I'm pretty sure that's their goal. I'm pretty sure that's their goal. As in like every field trip we have to hike. Our, my last like big field trip, I remember we literally had to sleep on a beach and make our own shelter out of like tarpaulins and sticks and there were like pigs on the island and it was we had to sleep in the shelter with like mosquito nets overnight it was a whole thing but yeah i wouldn't say i'm that shishal anymore <laughs> someone said why did you change your surname i have not changed my surname i still go by lauren bektas all legally in school my friends that's what they know my name as just lauren gutierrez is a better screen name so that's what me and my management collectively decided that when it comes to showbiz or public presentations or social medias, that's just what I'm going to call myself. That your skin is perfect. Not true. It's definitely getting better now that I ha like regularly go to my derma, which is Kathy Valencia. But I've had so many skin problems. I always break out. It's just part of my life i guess someone said you're five eight girl i am like five four i swear someone said when you were watching a movie okay i keep saying someone said like what is this sickle mode when you are watching a movie you can't focus on the movie because you are using your phone that is okay that's kind of true but it's more accurate for tv shows it's really hard for me to get through um tv shows that's why i like watching k-dramas because it forces me to look at it since i have to read the subtitles but very true i have a very short attention span you're famous at your school no i have like four friends that's about it no one really pays much attention to me no one really cares about me but that sounds so bad okay no obviously people like care about everyone but i'm just i'm not not much pe like i'm not friends with that many people I just stick to my group my school no one really cares about like filipino showbiz and stuff because 
most people are just not interested in it so it's never been a factor which has affected how many friends I have or how many people know me and I'd say I not a lot of people do know me and I only have a few friends healthy eater that is the worst assumption ever no offense um, that is the least accurate assumption I've read I am a horrible eater I am a horrible health person I don't know why I am not larger than I am because of how bad I eat I think it's because of my metabolism but trust me when the day comes that my metabolism slows down I'm telling you right now you will tell you will be able to tell mm -mm, my eating habits are horrible okay thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it you can like it you can comment you can subscribe